Hi and welcome back. I'm Mary Jo, also known as Sojo, and this is my channel where I talk about all of my cool stitchy things. And this is part 11 of Rediscovering My Stash, where I've kind of run out of room to store more fabric, so I thought it was a good idea to take things out, take a look at them, rediscover it, if you will, and bring you along with me. Today is all about the boxed kits from Moda and Riley Blake, as well as some kits that came pre-packaged from different quilt shops. So let's see what we got. Now I believe everything that I have shown up till now that I've called a kit is something that I've kind of curated and put together myself. So I have this. This is early word from Bonnie and Camille for Moda. The box is kind of banged up <laughs> and a little squished in because it was on the bottom, but that's okay. We'll open it up, take a look at some of this. Here's a look at the pattern. That's what the pattern looks like. And here is all my bundles of fabric that's in there. There we go. There's a card in here that says, we've included two yards of this vintage birds in this kick. Please reference the patterns and cut two strips needed for the front of the quilt. Use the remaining fabric for the backing. So there's that. All right. Now, if there is a particular kit that you would like to see me do sooner rather than later, please comment down in the section below in the comment section and we'll see about doing that. I have been working on some quilts where people have commented in the beginning of my series that they'd like to see done. Now this one is Quilter's Cottage from Lori Holt. Now this comes from Five Quarter Shops it's in this big box. So here's what the pattern looks like. Quilter's Cottage. And here is my big thing of fabric. All there together. Haven't done this one yet either. Now this fabric kit was curated by Fat Quarter Shop and I know they are pretty generous with their cuts with all their kits, so I will probably have extras when that's done. All right. The next, I have this. This is from Riley Blake, and this is Shine On. This was something I just got in August, and I bought this from Green Fairy Fits. Green Fairy Quilts. There you go. And this one is 75 by 87. I should have told you the dimensions on the other one. And I know I've done a unboxing video, if you will, on this, on my Green Fairy Quilt Purchase video before. Here is what the quilt looks like again. And I have all the fabrics in here. Not gonna pull it all out, but they're in there. I think we got fat quarters there at the bottom. So let's see. I don't think I told you the dimensions on the other one, so let's go back. This early bird, this is 42 by 48, so this is a small one. And the Quilter's Cottage, let me see. This is 74 and a half by 89. Okay. Now this was also a kit that I got from Green Fairy Quilt Quilts back in August. And this is the Knitted Row Long and it is 79 by 101. Ow, I just whacked myself in the face. <laughs> Again, there's a look at the pattern again and all the fabric. And 
And then I have another Lori Holt kilt, quilt kit. This is prim and proper. Let's see what the dimensions are. Just looking for some dimensions, how big this quilt kit is. I'm not seeing it. Okay, this is 63 and a half by 75 and a half, I believe. That's the best I could figure. And let's take a look at the everything inside. Again, this is also curated by Fat Quarter Shop. So I'm sure there'll be lots of fabric. It did include some of that rickrack, which Lori Holt calls vintage trim. And a little bundle of fabric. I'm assuming these are probably like fat eights, but I don't really know. And another bundle of fabric. So that's another box kit. All right, then I have this kit. This is from Fat Quarter Shop, the Sleigh Bell slant Sampler Kit. There's a picture of the kit, and it has a book that goes with it. Let me get the book. This is the Winter Wonderland quilt. So I have that. Then I have the sweet and simple. Row by row, sew along, featuring simple goodness by Tasha Noel. And this is 60 by 60. I have that. All the fabric is in there. And I even have the backing. Then we have this, oh, excuse me, Illumination Quilt Kit. Modern Backgrounds by Zen Cheek. This is a Jolly Bar quilt. So it has two Jolly Bars in it. I don't know if you can see, but that's the pattern there. And another box kit. This one is from Moda. And this is On the Farm by Stacy Itsu. This is 60 by 70. There's another look at the pattern. And all the fabric. Got a little sheet print on the front there. <clears throat> All right, and then I have this. Sorry, it's going to be like really crinkly. This is Maywood Studios, a more quilt kit. Got all the fabric in there, purples and greens. And I have a box kit from Corey Yoder. This is from her Apricot and Ash line, and this is 82 by 82. <clears throat> and these little blocks that are in the houses, those are a part of a panel. Here's the pattern, and here is all the fabric. All right, so let me see how many quilt kits that is. So that is 11 boxed or pre-packaged kits. So, just to go over all the other totals. Now, I am keeping my box and pre-packaged kits separate from my other kits. Just because the other kits are ones that I've put together and these are ones that came 
already put together. So I have 11 of my boxed or prepackaged kits, 11 bolts of fabric, yardage, that's one yard or more, I have 86. Layer cakes, 65. Fat quarters, 41. Charm pack, 68. Fat quarter bundles, 37. Jolly bars, 16. Jelly rolls, 46. And quilt kits, 75. Okay, till next time. Bye.